Oh, get the net. Get the net, Dylan. Holy crap, get the net. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Hurry, this is, oh, this might be my PB. Oh my God. What's up guys? It's Bass and Bears here today. We're here again with Dylan and uh, we are trying to uh, catch us some smallmouth. Um, there's largemouth in here too. We're mainly going to be throwing like the wacky rig today and uh, the Ned rig. We might throw a little bit of a Texas rig depending on how the bite goes. Maybe some more moving baits like uh, some crank baits. Uh, jerk baits. Yeah, jerk baits. Especially here. Like, uh, you guys can see the water's pretty clear. So, we're gonna be trying that. Yeah, we're uh, we're down here. We're trying to see if we can maybe pull something out that is actually uh, maybe bigger than our PBs. Uh, there's trout in here too. Dylan actually, he didn't really get a video of it, but I had my GoPro that day. Yeah, he got a pretty rare trout. It's called a tiger trout. And if you guys have ever heard of a tiger trout, let us know down in the comments below definitely go look it up they it's a beautiful beautiful fish they're super rare to find in the wild and uh yeah we'll uh we'll make sure to post the picture of that trout on the instagram yep we will which sean will link in the description yep and if you haven't already please uh give us a like on the video it really helps us a lot and also subscribe so you can keep up with more content we post every tuesday thursday and saturday we're gonna get fishing and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch us a toad. <laughs> Got anything you wanna add, Dylan? Um, not really. I mean, it's nice weather out, it's overcast, uh, low 70s, probably 72, 73. Um, it's overcast, so hopefully these fish are out roaming, um, looking for bait, um, which we're gonna hope to capitalize on and catch us a few fish. Um, but I mean, other than that, just gonna try to get it done. See if we can catch our PB, hopefully. Yep. <laughs> it's also really windy today, so uh, it might be a little bit harder than the finesse bite, but we'll see. So, see you guys here in a second. Yeah, I love how like all the fish are like right here. <laughs> no joke. Sarah caught the first fish I've ever seen caught on a Texas rig right here. Really? Yep. She was standing where you're at, fishing down that way. Cause I was standing over there, fishing a wacky, and she was like, "I got one." Oh, I just came off of one. Really? Yeah, I had weight on there. Okay. I'll fall in. <laughs> I almost did there. Switch spots with me real quick. All right. Before you cast. Yeah, cause I'm probably gonna be fishing this. Yeah, I had a fish on there. It didn't feel too big. Probably wasn't. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of baby smallmouth that hang out right here in this calm water. Yeah. So they don't have to work. At least I know this color's getting bit. I don't have many of this color, but it's a start. God, I can't believe I just missed that fish. It's like literally like how, right how there. How many more colors of those do you have? I think like two. I was about to say, I'll, I'll put me one on, but. Got one. Woo! <laughs> of course! <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm telling you, this color works. And not a lot of people throw this color down here. Oh, no, they're back a molten cross. <laughs> you see them? I've never seen those before. Oh, so they look they look like the Canada crawl mixed with the orange. Yeah. I would keep my try that, actually. I got bubble gut. I got meat dog. No, another new not. money. I am, like, traumatized by bees. No, oh, it's like right on the back of my leg, bro. One time, I stepped in a hornet's nest. <laughs> my ankle became the size of a softball. I had another bite. Did you? Yeah. I think I had one just now right there. I thought that the hook so hard. I don't know why we can't get us a fish, Dylan. Doesn't make any sense. It might not be eating like, it might not be like eating, eating right now. Probably not. It might I think 
I think the bites we're getting, I think I think it's because we're reeling it through like where they're spawning. Probably. So they're just territorial like bumping at it. Right. More Ooh. so just to be like, hey, get out of here. Oh, what? That was another. You're kidding me. Probably the same one. How? How am I not getting a fish? I know they're there. I know for a fact they are. Oh, I see them. Oh, get the net. Get the net, Dylan. Holy crap, get the net. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Hurry, this is, oh, this might be my PB. Oh my God. Yes, I'm not dropping a toaster. I, I, guarantee, I, I guarantee you that's the one that I had earlier. Well guys, I caught this on this meat dog color. It's a nice little small mouth. Wow, I, I kind of want to get a weight on it. God, he's fighting back. He just spit up a worm on me. God, it looks like he's had a fun time. God. Yeah, look at that. A little aggressive fish. I don't know if you guys can see that. This little small mouth absolutely hammered that meat dog. Uh, we're going to uh, get a nice weight on him real quick. And yeah, we're going to release him. A little shy of two pounds. Awesome. One pound, 12 ounces. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, unclip that. <laughs> carp. I really hope you guys, that wasn't a carp, that was a small mouth. Was it? Yeah. Okay, that made work coming here a little bit worth it. Wow, Dylan. Yeah, that had the length for like a heavy fish, but oh, yeah. it didn't have the weight. It's after the spawn. Before the spawn, that would have been a three or three ish. I'm still happy regardless. Guys, let's see if we can catch another one. We've been losing fish left and right. So that was a nice little surprise. So he definitely was an aggressive fish. It was not his first time dabbling with the worms. You gotta give me props, though. I'm, I'm the one that told you to throw something you, they've never thrown down here before. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Honestly, that, that was something. That makes it worth it. That's why we fish, Dylan. <laughs> that is why we fish. Even if it wasn't the behemoth, I thought it was. No. I mean, that's, what, that's all they always say. Keep fishing. Yep, never. We could have already given up a lot by now. Oh yeah, with how many fish we missed, we probably missed at least 15 each. Oh yeah, because I, I, I know for a fact I missed four. That was my first and only bite on this color, so I'm gonna keep throwing this. See how this does. Maybe it'll give me another good one. He was up shallow. He Where was catching that up there. Under that tree. Yeah, I, I guarantee that's the one that I missed whenever I was using the orange one. Probably. I threw it up there. I, I knew I knew it was a big one. Yeah. Whenever I went to set the hook, I, I felt him shake his head real hard and he dropped it. Right. <laughs> that was crazy though. Okay. Right, let's explore all these billions of colors you got down here. <laughs> yeah. That's only half of them too. There's still a lot in there. Oh, awesome. Yeah, give that a shot. Yeah, because you're using a purple when you got a fish. Pink might work. I never know. <laughs> the pink could imitate uh, rainbows. Trout. Oh, hey, little buddy. I knew I felt something messing with my line. All right, little buddy. Peace out, Girl Scout. I'm not walking down the bank. I'll give you a good one, though. There you go, since you have so much spunk in you.
Got one. Oh, well, look at that. Finally, we caught a largey out of here. Oh, yeah, thanks for smacking my camera. <laughs> yeah, guys, I caught this little largemouth. Uh, this is my third fish so far. Uh, he just absolutely took that. Doesn't have anything in his throat. No bloody tail. Let's get a good little release on him. Caught that on the green pumpkin goby. Nice little color to use. And yeah, let's see him go. See you, buddy. All right, guys, so uh, colors I was throwing today on the Ned Rig. This one is called Mood Ring right here. You can kind of see it. it, has that purple underbelly, kind of like a, a lightish purplish bluish on top. Dylan told me to throw something like I wouldn't expect to work nine times out of 10. And you know what? Caught the biggest fish of the day on this little worm here. <laughs> and this is a Z-Man Finesse TRD. Good, good Ned Rig lures right here especially for your soft plastic. But uh, this is what I've been catching a majority of mine on today, is the Green Pumpkin Govee. This is an absolutely killer bait up north. If you guys live up north and you're not throwing this, you're doing something wrong. This color, especially on those clear water lakes and rivers, is absolutely deadly. You will catch so many fish. And basically how we've been fishing today, well at least me, I've been throwing it out, letting the current take it, and then kind of just reeling it back in, doing a slow retrieve, just constant, kind of swimming it. And it's been working pretty well. Um, yeah, and I've just kind of been twitching it off the bottom and seeing if a uh, fish can hit it. Yeah, that's uh, basically how we've been doing it. I've caught, what, three, four fish? Four. Four? Yeah, I think four. I've lost so many. I've lost probably about 20 so fish or so. I'd say just they didn't commit fully and I set the hook too soon, I guess. Or it might have been little bluegills. So, yeah, we're going to keep fishing here. We're going to see if we can uh, catch any more. Get again? No, I'm going to boat flip him. I'm just letting him wear himself out. Sure? You sure you don't want me to net him with how today's going? It's a large eat. Is it? No, it's a small whale. Sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah, certainly. See? Now he's wore out. Just bring him up. Well, finally caught my first fish of the day. This little, little bitty small mouth here. I'm actually not sure that's a small mouth. No, it is. You sure? Yeah, that's a small one. You can see the pattern. You see, because he doesn't have a lateral line. Hmm. That's how you can tell, mainly. Yeah, it's but a small Anyways, um, caught this guy on the wacky. Been throwing it for probably, I don't even know. Probably upwards of 30 minutes. <laughs> been casting it over there against that far bank where that rock's at. And I've been getting hit a lot over there. And then just happened to be reeling it in to recast. And little buddy here said he'd take his chance with it. So, pretty little fish. Put him on a green pumpkin. Uh, Gary Yamamoto. Just gonna toss him back. So I ain't gotta walk down there because I ain't trying to fall in. All right. Bye. Down well, good job, Dylan. Just gonna leave me hanging, thanks. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know you had your fist up. <laughs> so, I'm pretty much just fishing the wacky. Um, I've tried tons of baits. I've tried uh, Ned rig, jerk bait, crank bait, jigs, Texas rig, weightless um, rib and tail. I've tried just about everything. Um, nothing's worked so far up to this point. Um, so I decided to put on the wacky or as I like to call old reliable for me. <laughs> um, didn't really have a, don't really have much of a, like a inventory to throw for wackies. So I just went with my most favorite, which is, which is gonna be this Gary Yamamoto green pumpkin, um, which I have one out to show you. Um, it's just a green pumpkin worm. Um, you know, it has green and red flakes in it, or purple flakes, sorry. Um, but pretty much you just put it through right here and that way it's even on the hook. And then pretty much has been tossing it out in the current. 
um, and then it pretty much just gives it this kind of an action. Makes it kind of look like it's flapping, struggling fish. Um, I caught one fish on it, which pretty much, the, the way I caught him, I wasn't really fishing it per se. Um, I was just kind of joking around with it, and I was just kind of going sideways, and then that way it looks like it's kind of like fluttering in like a sideways pattern, instead of doing the up and down, it was doing like this. And I just happened to just feel weight, um, and then I felt a peck and a peck, and then I just kind of set the hook, landed my first and only fish of the day, missed a lot actually, um, missed three or four I think that I know of, that I know for a fact were fish, and then I missed, I mean, probably six or seven others that I'm not 100% sure were fish, could have been, like Sean said earlier, bluegill, perch, um, sunfish, just whatever, even trout. Um, but I'm going to tie this guy on, um, get back out here, and hopefully try to catch a couple more before the day's over with. We're running out of time. Um, it's getting kind of late now. Sun's pretty much gone. Um, now we're just kind of dealing with the wind, which makes it hard to fish finesse, but we're making it work. Um, Sean's caught him a couple good ones, a really good one. So I'm going to tie this guy back on, get back out here, and see if we can make it happen. Um, if we catch another fish, you'll see it in the video. If not, we'll just see you guys at the end. See you then. Well, all right, guys. So uh, we didn't really have like a blowout per se, but I mean, we caught a nice little smallmouth. Uh, Dylan caught one. At least he didn't get skunked. That's always right. a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's always a, a really bad feeling whenever you get skunked. But yeah, we, I caught four. He caught one. Uh, there's that really nice smallmouth, a little shy of two pounds, right? Yeah, it's like one pound, 12 ounces. Yeah, so like one. Uh, Four ounces shy. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's a fun day. We weren't down here too, too long. Uh, we were only down here for, what, like four hours? Yeah, three to four. Yeah. Well, it's almost, it's eight, so yeah, about four hours. Yeah, and we, we had fun. Uh, tried some different Ned Red colors. Uh, I think the lesson you guys can take from today is if you think a lure is not going to work just because of the color of it, throw it because you might get a, a big fish kind of like I did. The only bite was that one. And that was the first it. bite that started all the others. Yep. Because yeah, that was the first fish and the first legit bite. Yep. So, so hopefully uh, you guys learned something from today and uh, if you guys got any uh, recommendations of videos that we should do, uh, drop a comment down below. And uh, please just like and uh, subscribe to us for more content. And also follow us on Instagram. And yeah, we'll link uh, the Instagram down below with like we do in every video. And yeah. And keep my family in your prayers. I'm not gonna say exactly why right now. Cause it's kind of a still, of a, it's still a sensitive subject right now. Um, but just know that I'm fine. Um, Sarah's fine. Um, it's pretty much just a, a relative in my family is fighting some issues. Um, don't want to say too much right now. Um, probably keep you guys posted in a later video. Um, but just keep my family in your thoughts and prayers if you don't mind. Um, other than that, Sean can finish up the video. Yep. So we'll see you guys next time. Uh, definitely keep fishing, guys. I'll see you next time. See ya.